I began photography February 2010, and that was the very first time I, I thought I could become a photographer. I, I felt it in my spirit, so to say. But I used to have a small Nokia phone, a Nokia 50 something, <laughs> yeah, tether to megapixel camera. First of all, I started taking photos of my fiancé, Faith, and, and, and I liked what I got. And then from there, I got my friends at church, I used to go for events. One time, one of my friends on Facebook uh, sent me an inbox. And she asked me, Ben, I'll, I love your photos. Uh, I wanted to ask, how much do you charge for a shoot? So then and there was the, was the starting point of my photography career. I decided, uh, let me see if I can take photography seriously. Uh, can it be able to make a decent living for me? I was employed as a network engineer. I hated my job. I was frustrated. I was much thinner than this, as I used to. I decided, let me follow my heart, let me follow my dream. I decided doing photography over the weekends because I was employed 8 to 5, Monday to Friday. For the very first six months, I did not do any paid job. It was all pro bono. We met in uh, 2009, January, in church. He was the drama director. Best friend was asking for guys to enroll to do drama in church. So he decided, why not? I'll try it out. The first meeting, he didn't come. The second day, that's when he came. People who enrolled for drama, they were all men. I was the only girl. They decided to take me home, all of them. They said to, yeah, to escort me home. The escorting went on and on and on and on until... <laughs> <laughs> he asked me out five months later. Still in church, uh, he wanted to go for some concert, and then he told me I take him with I, we go we go together. But at first I didn't want because I was tired. I wanted to go with my dress. So but he told me no, we have to go together. So yes, we that's why he asked me out. Working with Ben has been a good journey. And, uh, and it's always a different, a different experience every other day. I guess there's nothing as amazing as, as, as a creative, having someone alongside them who loves them, and especially who believes in them. And, and, who, and who tells them, despite about the hardships that you go through, that, that I know you're a winner, that you're a king, even despite of, of everything that you go through, especially in this profession of photography to upcoming photographers, videographers, or basically upcoming creatives. I think there's one secret that Faith and I realized a long time ago, and that secret has worked 100% for us every time we've used it. And the secret is a three-letter word, <laughs> and that is God. So for me, uh, I will not ask for anything better than working with Faith. And I thank God that even God gave Faith uh, the, same, the same burden in her heart for photography than for perfection. Get someone who loves you, get someone to love. But if you don't have, don't lose hope. Just wait on God. In his right time and place, he will bring her to be.